All right, it is Eric Previn, the county resident from District 3. Uh, is the microphone on? Okay, it is Eric Previn, the county resident from District 3. And uh, what I was trying to say earlier, uh, off the record, but it's not been apparently landed, is that item 63E is a, uh, an item that will transfer the ownership of American Golf Corporation uh, from our perspective, from the county's perspective, from Goldman Sachs Capital, uh, Goldman Sachs Starwood Capital, uh, to a group called Fortress Media that uh, your auditor controller says is a $50 billion concern. Uh, I've asked to see how she evaluated that. I'd like to just learn a little bit more about this company. This was put on the supplemental agenda on Friday, so there's not been a lot of time for scrutiny. I've asked the county council, Christina Salceda, to provide an explanation about the alleged leasehold valuations, which are mysterious and not substantiated. So I wanted to just be sure when we provide uh, this kind of an exchange to these two very, very well-heeled big bank-like firms that the public who own the land on which these leases are being flipped get a very, very good deal, or at least a fair deal. At present, the deal looks like this. Uh, these American Golf Course courses are worth probably in gross receipts almost $800 million by a conservative estimate over the 20 years. The county, in order to push this through for them, is going to take a grand total of $209,000 according to the calculation by county council and the Parks and Rec group. I just spoke to Supervisor Kanabi's uh, deputy who thought that the transfer fee was to be paid from one of the banks to the other of the banks. Of course, it's to be paid to the county. That is what the public gets for this gain, if there was a gain. Now, was there a gain? Well, that's what we'd like to know. In 2008, there was an article in the New York Daily News that said that American Golf was worth $1 billion, John Cratley. And in 2013, the item that tagged this item uh, in Golf Inc. as a potential sale in late September, that only comes to this board now, the official nature of that transaction, it's worth $1.8 billion. So there's been an $800 million gain, Supervisor Yaroslavsky, in the last... X number of years, and I can't be specific because I've been given very little information. I do have a lot of information about golf course receipts because I've learned about how our golf courses work. They make uh, a substantial amount in gross receipts and then they pay rent to the county at a percentage. Uh, many of those deals were negotiated in January of 2012 without competitive bidding. Uh, Mr. Fujioka is a good resource on how that was set up. I was particularly upset by it because I felt that the only way to properly value these golf courses, Supervisor Ridley Thomas, was to actually put them, expose them into the marketplace for competitive bidding. I will point out that Supervisor Ridley Thomas is abstaining from this particular <coughs> vote, I think. Now, Whittier Narrows, which is what brought this, it was the, there's always one last item to grab for, was an RFP that went out, and quite frankly, I've looked at now the backup documentation. This is a golf course item that has been moved off the agenda. Thank you. By your team. Sir, I Thank would you. ask you. Genevieve? Yes. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. Uh, on item uh, 